starting with off. Um, Duncan likes to jump. He really, really enjoys being up close and personal. So first thing we're going to do is we're going we're to teach him the word off. Now with this one, I like to say off instead of down. That way he doesn't get it confused with lay down. So try to say off when he jumps on anything, whether it be you or a counter or anybody else. So what we're going to do is every time Duncan jumps up on me, I'm going to tell him off. I'm going to put my hands up and I'm going to turn my body. That way he's not getting any affection. He's not getting any whatsoever. He, he knows that he's doing something that I don't like. So I'm going to turn my body. I'm going to tell him off. And as soon as he sits down or walks away, that's when I'll be okay. And, and I'll be like, okay, now we can play. But anytime he jumps up on me, uh-uh, off. Good job, Duncan. So after he gets down, after he sits, or um, is not jumping any longer, that's when I give him kind of his reward, his affection, good boy. Uh-uh, off. Good boy. Good boy. Much better. So another thing you can do is when Duncan is jumping, is we can basically, we can switch what he's thinking. So instead of Duncan jumping, I'm going to automatically go sit, sit, sit. And as soon as he sits, I'm going to give him his treat. So he would much rather sit and get a treat than jump up and get, you know, get told off. So let's see if I can get him to do it. Come here, Duncan. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. I know he gets really, really excited. <sighs> Super easy because he's a puppy. Uh uh uh. Sit. He would much rather sit. Good sit. And get that treat than jump up on you. So, this is kind of redirecting his behavior. So, if you have friends coming over and you know that as soon as, you know, as soon as they ring the doorbell, as soon as they open that door, Duncan's just going to fly at him like a crazy screaming, you know, squirrel. What you want to do is you want to give your friends or leave some on the front step, give them a few treats, and tell them that anytime Duncan goes to jump, they can hold up the treat and say, sit. Because instead, when Duncan's running at them, instead of having them, him jump up on him, he's going to sit right away because he wants that treat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, make sure everyone in the family knows that off is the word you want to use. And then as soon as you, you want to say it with a lot of power and then turn your body, making sure he's not getting any affection or any, any show of anything whatsoever for a whole life. So practice that with jumping. Now we're going to do a little sit practice and a little lay down practice. All right. Ooh, got my so with sit, come here, Duncan. Sit. Good boy. Good sit. Good sit. So he already knows sit pretty well. What I like to do is I like to show him that I have the treat, and then I like to put my hand up like this, kind of showing him the way his body would be if he was sitting down. So I kind of just whoop, and then sit. Tell me. So now sit. Good sit, Duncan. Good sit. Now with lay down, what we're going to do is I'm going to take the treat, let him sniff it. I'm going to go down his body so that his head follows. And then I'm going to go out on the floor so that his little paws are hopefully going to follow the treat and he'll be on his tummy. All right, ready? Come here. Sit. Good boy. You lay down. Lay down. Good. Lay down, Duncan. Good boy. Remember, lots of affection, lots of love. Good boy. After a while, you won't even need to guide, like lure him down. You can just start pointing. Ready, Duncan? Lay down. Good, lay down. Good, lay down. Good job. And then even when he gets when he gets even more, let's see if he can do it. I'll just point. That can sit. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> see, he's not quite sure what to do. So he's still in the kind of he needs that a little bit of lure. Lay down. Good, lay down, Duncan. Good job. Good boy. So that one's a nice easy one that you can do. Um, another way to help the lay down process. Anytime you see Duncan laying down at home, whether you guys are sitting on the couch watching a TV or eating dinner or whatnot, um, every time you see him and lay down, try to grab a treat, quietly go over and say, good lay down, good lay down. That way he's going to start associating the position that he's in 
with the word, lay down or down, and then with getting a treat, being rewarded. So he's going to start putting that all together and be like, I want to be in this position more often. This is a good position. Every time I'm in this position, I get a treat. Even if you're luring them down, they get a treat in that position. So they'll be much more excited to be in certain positions because they know that you're going to give them a treat. Yeah. So now we're going to practice a little bit of stay. Yeah. So with stay, we start with duration, and then we go, we go to distance, and then distractions. So with Duncan, he has a very, very short attention span because he's a puppy. So we just want to go super, super small, five, ten seconds of duration. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Duncan in a sit-stay. I'm going to hold my hand out. This is my um, command to kind of show him stay. And with stay, I always want to come back to Duncan when it's over and give him his reward. Now wait is when he comes to me after, I, after we're done. This one with stay, I, want, I will always want to go to him. All right, Duncan, up. Oh. So I'm going to put him in a sit. Duncan, sit. Stay. One, two, three, four, 